and today we are going to be talking about bitch. Yeah, mom. Where is he? Oh my god. Someone tell me what is going on right now. We have to show you. Jill? Why isn't she answering? It's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> So yes, that is the title of this movie, and I did watch this on Netflix. Um, it, I don't believe it was a Netflix original, uh, so I don't know what country that is available in, but I am in the US, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get into what this movie is about. This movie is about a woman who basically has a breakdown after not really being able to handle, I guess, the pressure from not just her kids, but then also her husband, who is just horrible. He's cheated on her and he treats her like crap. And in the beginning of the film, it does open with a suicide attempt. Um, so there's that trigger warning for you. Um, but after that failed attempt, she does start trying to tell her husband you know, that something's wrong, that she is about to snap, she's about to lose it. Um, I mean, even after the attempt, she comes home from work, um, and also from cheating on her, well, at work, and she's laying on their bed with his belt around her neck after the attempt, and he is just like, is that my belt? And like, takes it off of her, and then just like, goes to bed, and like, doesn't even ask, like, doesn't, no, you notice that the ceiling lights are now on the floor. He's just oblivious shithole of a husband. And she just snaps and starts taking the psyche of a rabid dog. And so basically one day her kids wake up, they realize that she is gone. Um, and so the husband is now basically in charge of trying to handle all the things that the wife normally would um, and then at the end of that kind of first day of thinking that she's missing they actually find her in the basement and she like this she's acting like a dog basically she's like covered herself in feces and is just rabid like barks and growls won't let anybody near her and she kind of remains that way throughout most of the film um, it really focuses more so from that point on onto the husband and him trying to now, again, like I said, take responsibility, having to deal with the family and the fact that his wife is now kind of a dog. Um, it's a very strange movie. Um, it's not a horror. It's more so a dark comedy, I suppose. Um, but I just wanted to watch it and do a review of it anyway. And it does have kind of two familiar faces. Jamie King, who she was in Heart of Dixie. And then Jason Ritter, who he's been in like a bunch of stuff. And of course his dad is the late John Ritter. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, but those are kind of the only main real familiar faces. Jason, of course, plays the shitty husband uh and jamie plays her sister um who she comes in to try and kind of help him so at one point in the film they her the mom and i don't think they actually say any of the characters names i don't know if any of the characters actually really have names in this i'm pretty sure they just refer to her as like mom throughout most of this um anyway her family decides that it's kind of time for them to take over. She should go live with her parents um, so that they can try to kind of get her back into a sane place because it's really, she broke because of the way her husband treated her. It's really kind of the issue here. Um, so, you know, treat your significant others kindly. Um, and yeah, she, and so they kind of threaten to take legal action as far as that goes, but he ends up realizing that it's kind of for the best, um, and they make kind of a plan for, you know, sometimes the husband will have her, <laughs> makes her sound like an actual dog, 
and sometimes the parents will. So then at the end of the movie, uh, because like I said, a lot of this movie is really focused on like the husband dealing with everything. It doesn't really focus that much on the mom, which I was in about. I kind of definitely wish there would have been more focus on the mom. I mean, the movie description and everything. I mean, it's even that old bitch because, you know, female dog. Um, and so I really wish there would have been a little bit more focus kind of on her and kind of all the craziness going on, uh, but it's all right. So like I was saying, towards the end of the film, she does go to stay with him for one night while the kids go to stay with their aunt. Um, and he, there's a very odd scene where he takes her to a dog park because I guess he thinks that'll help. Um, but it actually turns into kind of a bit of a sweet moment. You start to realize like how much he's changed from the beginning of this film to this moment when he's trying to, like really honestly trying to like do what he thinks is right for her, what he thinks maybe she wants. Um, and he just kind of like learns to let go of like there's that one point when they're meeting about what to do with her um, when he's meeting with her parents and her dad he says something along the lines of like you can't control everything and so it's really this great parallel between like you know him going from being someone who constantly has to be in control of everything which is part of the issue but never being there to help uh to letting go and you know doing whatever he has to do to try and kind of help her and fix her which i think is great and then it it does end with a happy ending um so of course you know spoiler warning she does end up breaking on through um and that's basically like the last shot is of the two of them together and she's like broken through and you can you know and he can see it and that's just the final shot it's great and it, as weird of a movie as it is i actually really liked it um again i will say i wish it had focused a little bit more on the mom um i kind of was under the assumption that there was going to be a little bit more focus on that it was going to take you know kind of a same route i guess sort of a the movie mom and dad but for this one it's just one of them freaking out um but i definitely liked the way it was um and i think that it was still a great movie so if you haven't seen this one i do still suggest it um like i said it's not horror it's really more of like a dark comedy and so if you are still into that i think that you'll enjoy it uh so if you did enjoy this review please do give it a big old thumbs up Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more horror related content. Um, and a quick shout out to my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for helping to support the channel. It means the world to me. If you want to know the perks to being a Patreon, link is in the description below. And I'll see you guys later with another video.